everyone and welcome back to Crochet by Sean. Make sure you hit the subscribe, like, and share buttons. And if you have any suggestions and any projects you would like to see us do on the videos, go ahead and put those in the comments below. And today we are going to be working on another baby headband. This one has some little chevrons. We're going to be using a size H crochet hook. and a medium worsted weight yarn. I use Brava for these, I like that. We're going to leave a little bit of a tail so we can do the invisible closure. <clears throat> and we are going to chain three. We're going to be working the double crochet foundation row. And If you're unsure how to do that, I do have a video. Otherwise, we'll kind of go over it here. You're going to go into the third chain from the hook and pull up a loop so that you have three loops. I like this better because it is more flexible. And we do our chain row and our double crochet row at the same time. So you'll chain one on the left and then finish the double crochet on the right. You'll yarn over, go through both loops of the chain we just made, pull up your three, we'll chain one on the left, and double crochet on the right. Yarn over, go through both loops of the chain we just made, pull up your loop, chain one on the left, and finish the double crochet on the right. And you will want 42 of these. And once you have 42, it will look like this. And we are just going to put it into a circle. And go into the top of your chain three to slip stitch to join. We will chain three again. We're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch. Now we're going to do kind of like skip stitches, more like a cable, but we're going to skip the first two stitches and we're going to treble crochet front post around that third stitch. And you do want to treble crochet because it's going to do the chevron and we want a second treble crochet front post in the next one. Now we're going to go back and pick up those two we skipped with two regular double crochets. You can kind of turn it so you can see the stitches you skipped. And do one double crochet regular in each of those skipped ones. On the next two, we're going to do two regular double crochets. We will skip the next two stitches and do another treble crochet front post and another treble crochet front post. You want two of them. Then we'll go back and pick up our skipped stitches with two regular double crochet. And then we will do two more regular double crochet after it. And you will just repeat this all the way around. So you'll skip two and then do two more treble crochet front post. And when you get all the way around, It will look like this, and we're going to, you will end on the two skipped double crochet back there. And you just join in the top of the chain three, 
we're going to chain three again and do another regular double crochet. Now when we skip these two stitches, we're going to do two regular double crochets in those back ones. Now we're going to do two treble to come back, two treble front post to come back and pick up those two we skipped. This will angle them the other direction. And then just do two regular double crochets in the top of the two double crochets. Skip the two front post. Do two regular double crochets in those back ones. Now we're going to come back with a treble front post to pick up those front stitches. Do your second treble front post. And then two regular double crochet. And you can see how that angles it backwards. And you will just continue this all the way around. And when you get to the end of your third row, you will end with the two trebles, two treble front post, and then we will just join in the top of the chain three, just slip stitch. Now we are going to do a regular double crochet or chain three for the first one. Do a regular double crochet, and in those two back ones, just do regular double crochet. And to keep the pattern going, we are just going to do a front post double crochet this time on the two front posts. You don't have to skip any stitches this time. So in the next four stitches, it's just regular double crochet. And then do two front posts. We'll do two front post double crochet. Now you can see how that pulls the pattern together to make it even. And you'll do that all the way around. Once you get all the way around, you will have your headband. All you have to do is take your yarn needle go into the bottom of the stitch there, pull it back over to do your invisible closure, bring it back around, and tuck your ends and do that on both sides. That's all there is to it. Thanks so much for joining us today and we will see you next time.